The next prop we will explore is the list empty component prop. This prop accepts a React component and renders it when the list is empty. Let's specify a simple text component, no items found. If we now specify the data prop as an empty array and take a look at the UI, we can see the text, no items found. The text is the component assigned to the list empty component prop. We have already covered styling and layouts, so I won't dive into making this component look pretty. I will leave that to you as a practice exercise. Try increasing the font size and centering this text in the UI. Let me know how it goes in the comment section. As you can see, the list empty component prop is straightforward and incredibly useful, especially when you fetch data from an API and the data might be empty. Instead of handling the logic yourself, you can use this prop to manage empty states efficiently. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.